Right, we're in El Rocio. It's like a cowboy town. Some pretty strange place, but quite interesting, isn't it? I don't think there's been anywhere like this before. No. I mean, just looking down there, it's great, isn't it? I mean, me and Firthy went to a place in America, but it was kind of like a mock, like a mock, you know, they did cowboy stunts and stuff, but it didn't feel like people really lived there. Yeah. Great. Oh, man and horses. <laughs> Get out of the way. These are just some of the shops uh, selling all the flamenco gear. It's like... Apparently they wear the they wear the flamenco at the main um, festival that they have here at Whitsuntide, which we'll tell you about when we get to church. But quite unusual mix of cowboy boots, flamenco dresses. So we're in El Rocchio, and inside this church is. Um, one of the virgins that one million people a year come here 50 days after Easter because they believe that the virgin here uh, is sacred because they had some sort of miracles happen and the weird thing about it is they all come on horseback so all the bars all the restaurants everything they've got like high chaparral places outside for you to park your horse and this down here is where the lake is except there's no water in the lake at the moment. Noted 1969 it contains a 16th century statue of Our Lady of El Rocchio who stirs up the religious fervour of local people and attracts a huge number of believers at the annual pilgrimage. There's a kind of a strange mix of traditional tiles, tourist shops, shops selling cowboy gear, shops selling flamenco, obviously horses everywhere. Look what looks to be a very nice restaurant over there in the distance. And in between a dried up lake. And this is where we're going to be going for a four hour safari tomorrow. Obviously got another church over there and then the main one here. We just went inside the church but there's a service going on so we'll go back there tomorrow so we're just going to go and see what this one is over here. We've got very little information on the place really. This is almost on a scale of what you see in Nepal or India and um, you can tell at the back here all those that are not being used today are obviously used when it's a, a festival. This is the famous lady. So we've got quite a lot of horses and all this green here is the lake with no water in it. In the centre of the picture now there's about 20 deer but they'll be too small and too dark to see. Lots of birds coming in to roost. Got a nice moon. There's the moon. Right, dusty place. This bar here, there's um you see those really high uh, wooden things? It's so that men on horses can ride up to them and have a beer on the horse without getting off the horse. So these two blocks here are having a beer sat on the horse. There's horses going back past permanently and I think actually it's like a taxi service. It's like a mode of transport, isn't it? This bloke's singing, we don't know whether he's doing it for his own entertainment, for their entertainment, whether he's paid, whether he's just wanting people to buy him a beer, we're not quite sure. It's all highly entertaining. And me and Peter keep going dizzy and we don't know whether it's all these weird bites we've got or lack of sleep or the heat, it's a combination of the lot. It's been quite an atmospheric place here, people keep going past on their horses. Um, the deer that I showed you earlier, 
is very, very tender. We've got paella, we've got red pepper salad and bread and beer. And there's lots and lots of horses in front of us. So we're on our trip through the National Park at the moment. There we go. ¿Qué tal por ahí detrás? ¿Bien? No, por aquí me ya queda poquito, ¿eh? Unos 60 kilómetros, una cosa. Es nada, un par de ganchos más, ¿no? ¿Está bien, papá? ¿Yes? Bueno, bueno, ya está de lo que tengo, ¿eh? 60 kilómetros más que vamos, ¿verdad? Más pete que... For a break, and the, you've got a, a pine forest in the middle of the sand dune, which is a bit strange. There's quite a lot of us here now. <laughs> a few buses turned up. And Janice having a wander down there. We've just stopped off for a break and we're just watching these mayflies or dragonflies. Don't know how close he'll let me get. I'm quite happy with them, isn't it? Don't even know how close they are. Got a group of deer here. Yeah. 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 Now we've got about five kilometres to go, I think. 